Hey guys, you remember how I said that I was working on a new Let's Gripe? I still am, and it's still taking a while. No one's more annoyed than I am, because I've had to, let's see, rewatch two major films and then take notes on both of them. I had to rewatch an entire animated series and do the same thing there. And I also had to evaluate one of the longest books ever written. And I'm not even halfway done, and my current script is 10,000 words long right now. So I'm going to have to shore that up too. Oh, God. It's been a nightmare. So, I thought, I, it's, it really gets on my nerves whenever I don't have things on the channel. Just constantly going up, which is kind of weird for an animator, since YouTube animators usually only release like one or two things a year, but I'm me, I'm crazy, fucking crazy. So I decided that I would do something nice for myself and make a short video. <laughs> I always say that. And make a short video, this time specifically about doing a little bit of a challenge for myself. And the challenge is not even really a challenge, it's not even really a game, it's just sort of an exercise, I guess. Something I've done a few times in the past. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a subject, and in this case you can tell from the title, it's going to be a Broxen or Brakeson or however you nerds like to pronounce it, I don't care. But, you know, it's going to be that, this thing. It's going to be, da -da 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 -da, if I can get myself a copied image, it's going to be the little fox thing from Pokemon, because it's a cutie, and I have no inhibitions whatsoever. That's right. So, what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to attempt to draw it, and I'm going to set stipulations on time for myself. So I have Google Timer over to the side. First time I'm going to draw her, it's going to be with a limit of 30 seconds. And then I'll talk about that briefly, and then we'll jump up to like, I don't know, a minute or so. We'll see what happens, right? Okay, so let's get started. First off, I'm going to try the drawer one time, starting, technically it's 32 seconds because I need to click it and then tab back over. But, you know, 32 seconds. Go. Okay. So, you have to be very, very fast, which I'm not going to be this first time through. And it can be very complicated trying to draw something like this in a timely manner. And I've already screwed up many times over by now. This is not going quite the way that I wanted to. But I did get quite a bit accomplished, I guess. And I'm done. So, we see what we got in 30 seconds. Not too much. Very, very shaky line work. Uh, some people, some people are very good at drawing extremely fine, intricate, very precise artwork. Like, like I could watch any number of other artists and they'd be like, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's immaculate. And they're just doing it so perfectly. I can't do that. My, especially as you, some of you guys might know, I have like a weird nervous system thing that kind of makes me lose motor control sometimes. It's, it's sort of related to Tourette's and whatnot. And as I've gotten older, it's gotten a little bit worse. My... Like, my fine motor skills have been getting a little bit worse over time. And I can sort of tell with my drawing. It kind of carries over to that sometimes, too. But I've never, either way, you know, I've never been known for my extremely fine, precise line work. Usually I require several stages of drawing in order to get it to work. But you can see what I was trying to do. Whenever you have to do speed drawings or anything like that, and this carries over to any form of drawing, usually start with most basic shapes. And especially if you're drawing like a human figure or a humanoid figure, appropriate or otherwise, you start with the face. And as I've said many times before, the most important element of the face are the eyes. So it was the first thing I did, start with the eyes. And that's probably the thing that you have the, uh, the most amount, like that's the thing that you want to actually be the... Uh, most refined part of it, I guess, if you, if you have a time restriction, is the eyes. Then, you know, surrounding facial features, nose, mouth. And then after that, you sort of work out very basic geometrical shapes in regards to however their, their face is designed. Like, I didn't draw her little ear tufts. I didn't get any further down than, like, her neckline. But that's enough. So, all right. Now that we've done that in 30 seconds, let's kick that up to... Like one minute. How about that? One minute and two seconds, so I have time to tub, tub over. 
We'll hide this one and then we'll see what happens whenever I actually have a minute and two seconds to work with. Or a minute. Okay, let's go. All right, mission starts. And it always takes me a second to get reoriented. This time I will try to be a little bit more precise. I have a little bit more time to work with, so I don't have to worry as much second time around. I like to, like, whenever you're trying to draw fast, I try not to have the eyes point towards the viewer. Because if the eyes point towards the viewer, then uh, it's easier to see flaws in how the, the face is oriented and designed and whatnot. This time I made a mistake. I didn't start with the nose when I probably should have. And I can already see a problem that I'm running into. This is actually pretty good for the video because it gave me the chance to talk about something. So I fucked up colossally this time around. You can probably tell why that's the case, but I did have more time than I had the first time around. Okay. So that's fucking awful. <laughs> Much worse than the first time, actually. And even though I had more time this time around, what I did was I started trying to focus too much on, like, what the eyes look like. And as a result, I kind of lost track of the, the, the total, um, the, the, the total way that the entire thing is designed. Like the, uh, there's a word and term for it I can't think of right now. But as far as the aspect ratio of all the elements of the design of the face all together, they all need to be drawn at the same time. You can't draw one element of the face and then try to draw things around it. So this time around, I'll do the same thing. Minute, two seconds. Not ten minutes, not two minutes. I'll do a minute and two seconds. And we'll do the exact, same exact things. This time I'll try to approach it from a different perspective. Okay, so layer three. Layer three. God damn it. All right, and begin. If I can... Okay, there it goes. I can never really tell. All right, this time around, I will start with the basic geometry of the head. Very basic placement of the eyes. Mouth is somewhere around here. Little tufts on the cheek are somewhere around here. Ears kind of this general direction. Not really committing to anything. Shoulders kind of right here. I don't really need to draw anything beyond this right here. But now that I've had that laid out, I can now focus on drawing more details. You see what I did there is I took a rough shape and now I'm adding more elements to it. And that's the basics of how you draw, even if it's not timed. Because whenever you are designing something, and I'm running out of time, <laughs> it's, it's always in a hurry. I can never quite make it. Uh, but you can see what I was trying to do. Is rather than this, like last time I was trying to, oh man, that's rough. Last time, I don't even want to look at that anymore. <laughs> last time I was trying to draw one important element and then draw things around it which is a common error whenever you're drawing things. This time around, I try to establish all the elements that I'm working with and then try to flesh those things out. And even if you're not drawing by speed, that's exactly how you always need to draw. Whenever you're laying, laying out a primary whatever thing, whatever else, you don't commit to anything. That's one of the most important lessons that you need to draw anytime that you are uh, uh, creating anything. It doesn't matter if it's even a drawing. It can be... Uh, if you're composing music, it can be if you're laying out like a rod, I'm, what I'm doing now. If you're uh, laying out a, a, a writing draft, which is what I'm doing. Uh, one of the first things I did was I created a timeline that didn't really have any information in it. It was just information on what I need to talk about. And I've been designing through that. And uh, after I'm done with my probably 20,000 word thing that I'm doing right now, I'll go back and try to shore it up and condense it into something that's more direct. And the same thing with drawing. Whenever you are uh, drawing, you need to start with something that's extremely general, just basic shapes, very sketchy looking, and then just go back over on top of it and keep working on it until it actually shapes up to what you want it to be. 
Because if you do it like this, like number two, if you do it like number two, then you will end up with something that is focused too much on one particular element and nothing around it makes any sense in regards to that one element because you didn't start with the overall picture. Okay, so. Last one, I think, that I'm going to do to try to make this as short a video as possible <laughs> is this time, I think, I will go with five minutes. This five minutes even, and I'll try to draw something as quickly as possible from that. So this one, in theory, in theory anyways, should be the best one. But it can just as easily end up being the worst one if I don't uh, follow my own rules and try to draw something uh, uh, correctly, directly, uh, by uh, starting with an overall premise first. Okay, so let's get started. Five minutes, two seconds, go. All right. So this time around, I can be slightly more careful. And in this case, like, slow and steady wins the race, but still need to be fast. Like, the tortoise never said anything about that. It's very easy to kind of slow down, but the slower you go, the more difficulties you are going to have in the long run. I kind of learned my lesson not drawing straight on, so this time around I'm trying to draw at more of an angle so I won't have those problems. And it seems like, yes, there's a little thing right there. And that it also gives me time to mirror, which I was not able to do in the prior examples. And as I always tell everyone, be sure the mirror, because everyone draws at a slight angle. Because of their desk, because of just, they get lazy and start leaning to one side, they get a little bit too relaxed. And they start making very small mistakes. Very small mistakes that compound upon one another until you get something that's completely skewed to one direction. And that's not good for anyone. And thankfully, the reason why I went with the Braxton, because I know well enough what the design looks like. And more importantly, it's composed of mainly just very, very simple shapes. And because it's composed of very simple shapes, it's fairly easy to draw. But it's complicated enough that if you're not used to the overall design, then it is uh, kind of rough. So it's moderately challenging from that perspective. Now some people can do this way better than I can, certainly. And uh, with her design, it seems like her little tough things on the ear, her ears actually go out like this. So even with more time, I'm able to pay more attention to minor things like this. And there, this is another thing that I was never able to pay any attention to. But her coloration comes down to the eyes, apparently here, and extends over to the nose. And it'll do the same thing on this end as well. So I was not able to pay any attention to that beforehand. And now I'm actually able to erase some features. And now that I kind of establish as much as I want to, I can go back over and flesh out the actual characteristics. Man, the thumbnail for this is not going to look good, is it? Maybe I'll use an older picture that I drew. Because I actually have drawn her quite a bit, I think. Mainly because of requests. People request her quite a bit. She has a cute design. Picture of the guy that won the Pokemon tournament. Yeah, he asked for pornography as his reward. And he got it, too. Well, not for me, specifically, but... You know, you know what I'm saying. The internet. Lots of things on the internet. Happy little trees on the internet. Happy little penises on the internet. It's something for everyone. Something for everyone. It's just wonderful, isn't it? Your own happy little world. Whatever you want to add in it, you can add in it. Whatever you want to remove, you just don't go to that website. That's why I don't go to Tumblr that much. Not much to be found there. Just a few happy little trees and... Quite a few unhappy little trees that want everyone to make sure that they are seen and heard, even though trees should not talk. It's an amazing world we live in, don't you think? Yes. Okay. So, nearing one minute, I've got quite a bit done. And as far as just drawing is concerned, 
I'm pretty much done, so five minutes was more than enough to get the basic premise for her all the way out the door. Let me condense this a little bit. Yep. Not much left now. Just 40 seconds. Of course, you, the same thing is kind of true. You don't want to overwork it. If you're at this point, you don't want to overwork a, a primary. Uh, at this point, I would probably go back over it with another primary with an entirely new drawing because uh, of the same reasons. Like, the more you work over something, the more problems you're going to have as a result. Like, there's a lot of things about this that I want to uh, fix already. And I won't be able to fix them if I just keep working back over it, so I would need an entirely new design. So really, I was done, like I'm done now, I still have time left. And stop. Yep, amazing. Alright, so, I was done pretty much with 30 seconds left, as far as I'm concerned, as far as uh, primaries go. There's not much more that I could have done with it. So, let's go back over them. 30 seconds. <laughs> My 30 second one is like, what? Is that a penis? And my second one, of course, where I concentrated too much on the eyes. Complete failure. Third one, uh, what was that one? A minute. A full minute that we had with the third one. Uh, it seemed like the second one also. Yeah, the second one also we had a full minute. Third one, got to focus a little bit more. And finally, five minutes. Five times I'm out. Very large improvement in comparison to the one that was at just one minute. So... Just that extra little bit of time was uh, enabled me to uh, uh, pull through and uh, create something that was a little bit more on model. So, it did not take much time at all. Uh, so, I guess I'll stop here and keep to my promise of making this sh a short video. This is probably the, one of the shortest art videos I've ever made. And the worst, too. Excellent. Excellent. Just as I intended. All right. So I'm now going to get back, oh, get back to writing. I'm probably gonna, actually going to release a few more art videos because it really gets on my nerves that I'm not able to make as much as I want to make. Uh, I'm sure that you guys in the comments will be like, take your time, Blake, take your time. I don't know why I'm mocking that. <laughs> I should be taking my time. But I'm just, I'm the kind of person, I want to have as much content as I possibly can. Even though the Patreon enables me to not have to worry about uploading content constantly, I still, like, I wake up and that's all I think about, so. Uh, I'll try to do a few more things. There's one or two little special things that I might be able to do, depending on what everyone's schedules are like. I'll think about that in the future. You guys let me know what it is exactly that you want to see from me, though. Uh, what you think as far as uh, scheduling goes and whatnot. I do have one or two other ideas. Like, I thought of the the idea of a diffusion video where I take an existing character and try to break them into two entirely new characters. But that's a little bit more complicated than a trifusion video because it can be almost anything, which was, that's what the video would be about, explaining that concept. And, uh, I've also considered the idea of designing a new character in a video where I basically just roll for character traits, like eye color, what's it going to be? And I'll press a button and it'll tell me brown or... Uh, what kind of uh, hair should they have? And I'll press a button and it'll generate something else. But I need to actually have a list of things like that. And I haven't been able to find one yet. Like a, a total list of like, here's 100 hairstyles. And then I would be able to roll 0 to 100 to figure out uh, which one of them I have to use. That sort of thing. I've been trying to find a list for it, but I wasn't able to find it. So I went with this idea instead. But I have several ideas. If you guys have any ideas of your own, let me know. Uh, until then... Until next time, I guess, and I don't, I'm not sure what exactly that's going to be. The 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 let's gripe has it, the Patreon has enabled me to actually have more complicated versions of all my videos, which is why my animation has been getting better. But it's been taking much more time in between videos because they've just been getting way more complicated uh, as far as the, the art goes. Uh, same thing with the let's gripe. I found out. I remember the let's gripe is only taking like a, a month and a half at most to create. And this one's just become a nightmare because there's so much information in it. And I decided, you know what? I don't care. I'm just going to make it as long as possible because it's about characterization and I want to talk about that as much as I want to. So it's just being as long as it needs to be. So, anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Most of it has been me rambling here at the end. But enjoy it! God damn it. 
So until next time, guys, say goodbye, Braxton or Broxton, whatever your name is. She's off to go win more tournaments and then have inappropriate images drawn of her afterwards as a reward. But not for her. No happy trees for Broxton on the internet. All right. So long, guys. Goodbye.